Hey everyone, what about here, and welcome to AI Invasion. It's a top-down shooter, and it has a nice amount of style, so I'm kind of hoping it's good. Is it in early access? I don't know, I didn't check that bit. Probably should. It is in an er early access state, so I don't know how this is going to go. Hopefully, it'll be good. I don't play a whole lot of top-down shooters. Eh, I guess I do if you want to count uh, Dungeon Souls. Anyway, campaigns, AI Conquer, rem remake system. So this is like sci-fi-ish, orbiting, confirm. I feel like I'm missing some things here. Uh, can we, can we do it? Okay, we can customize these good, what the deuce? I feel like there needs to be a tutorial on this, so I can do heavy armor. How do, how do I, how do I know what I'm, how do I'm doing? Healing station, weapon, submachine, alright, back to overfield. So we've got, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just, I'm just throwing shit at these people. Back to overview, okay, can I recruit any bales? The answer is no. So this is very early access, Let's see how this goes. I think we're playing spy Space Pirates and Zombies. Uh, no. Sort of. I'm not going to play the original one. I'm going to play the second one when it comes out. Unfortunately, when it comes out is a bit of a limited deal. Okay. Let's wait for this game to um, let me back into its life. Okay, so this really is a top-down shooter. Oh, they keep moving. Okay. Okay, so it's space bar to shoot. Okay, doesn't look like there's ammo, doesn't look like there's reloading. Okay, in incoming transmission. Oh, shoot. Yep, there's a mech. Uh, this is the best landing spot. Never mind. Alright, so there's there's nothing. There's, there's, uh, there's no other information available. I can't pull that dialogue back up. Cool. Can I pick these things up? The answer is no. They're just, like, light markers. Love it out. My ally can see them before I can see them. Makes my, my life easier. Let's just kind of circle strafe around these guys. Do I have, like, shields or something? Nope. There are no- there's- there's no tutorial. Well, this is concerning. Let's see. When a new game comes out, many YouTubers do videos on it. Yeah. No, that's pretty much the same logic. Oh, can I shoot these things? Yeah, you can- oh, shit! Bad time for shooting at, uh, miscellaneous just boxes and stuff like that. Yeah, so, um... So... David, uh, PWR in chat is talking about, like, new games coming out and, like, YouTubers covering them and stuff like that. And, like, there is a, there is a very early grace period on games. I know this isn't, like, super relevant to the game right now, but at the same time, I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, but yeah, no, there, there's a very specific period of time where covering a game is super useful for YouTuber. And then after that, it just becomes, like, a regular series. Uh, so for this game, unfortunately, it, it's kind of relevant to this in a way. Oh, we go in the bucker. Here. Okay, open open the hatch. How do I open the hatch? Not that way. Space, space bar? Crunch, crunch bar? E. Here we go. Nobody here. Looks like AI did more damage than expected. Another entrance in the crater to the northwest. Okay. So we just need to keep going around. Um. But, so, you know, in a lot of cases you want to cover a game as soon as possible. In this case, I feel like that's actually kind of a mistake. Uh, more on the developer's uh, part. I'm going to be focusing on this game just a little bit here. Um, but unfortunately in this case, this game is... Oh shit! We've got, we've got party people. Um, in this case, the game is in a very early state, so early in fact, that like, well the gameplay is kind of like inter... is, is tight, like I have yet to see any like major bugs or issues with it. And like visually it's impressive, the mechs are cool, and the environments are nice. Like it kind of, you could, you could, uh, spruce it up a little bit more and make it a top-down journey, and I would, I would be none the wiser. Or not journey, uh, top down destiny, but like, um, I, unfortunately, I'm not like drawn into the gameplay yet, just because it is a, it is a top down shooter, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Top down shooters can be plenty fun, and like the enemy types are fine, but I just don't know what I'm doing here. I guess I'm not. I'm just not pulled into the game as much as I feel like I should be. That's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just kind of the the, uh, the dangers of putting a game into early access too early. That said, I am impressed with what I'm seeing here. I'm, I'm trying to like kind of focus focus specifically on the impressions here. Because I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to turn this into a full series yet. We'll see how much more I like get drawn in. And how much gameplay changes along the way. But it's mostly just like, here's a bunch of bots, go kill them. Uh, that's not a bad thing. But like, I don't know if there's like up character upgrades, different guns you can pick up weapons, gizmos, gadgets, or if it's just like, shoot, shoot people, and kind of like strafe around with your idiot, idiot, idiot allies, just like, I'm gonna stand back to you, and then just, just kind of make it so you, you shuffle slower, and take more damage. The, my ally, by the way, not taking a whole lot of damage here, then again, they're probably smarter than I am, 
considering they can see enemies from, you know, miles away. Does it feel like Diablo 3 gameplay? Honestly, if this game played like Diablo 3, I think I'd be more okay with it. Uh, just because, like, I would love to see a Diablo, like, that is sci-fi that looks like this. Because this game is gorgeous. Like, uh, the, the lighting, the colors are quite nice. I mean, we're on the moon, so go figure everything's gonna be kind of a blue-gray. But, like, these mechs are really cool looking. I don't know what they're doing here. They're just kind of chilling out and waiting for me to come kill them. Um, but it still looks cool. Uh, some of the, like, movement is kind of bizarre and wiggly, but still. I'm supposed to have, like, a... Here, can I continue mission? Alright, so I can't pull up a menu that tells me how to use my healing move. Why is that guy just invisible? I don't know. Can I do, like, one? How do I heal? E, Q, F. Buttons. We're, we're... Wait, how did I do that? I've got, like, oh, a, is it C to crouch? Yeah, it's C to crouch. Why do you need to do that? I don't know. Maybe it makes you slightly more ac a accurate along the way. All right, the, the little dudes in the explosive bar barrels and stuff like that. Kind of getting annoying. Top 10 shooters allow the players to see everything, but disables the ability to surprise the character. I mean, in this case, they just have a bunch of... Wait, am I... I'm shooting the ground from... Oh. Okay, this is disconcerting. Do not fight anybody on top of one of these things. I will just literally start shooting the ground because the collision sensor... Uh, the, the targeting reticle can't figure, it out if it, figure out if it's on the ground or not. Is this the right area? Have I gone the wrong way? Defeat the AI outpost. I feel like I have done something incorrect here. Nope, we're going over that direction. Okay. I just took a wrong turn. Is there stealth? Nope. And the problem with crouch is, like, uh, you can't move while crouch, so you can't sneak. So, currently, I think, I think, um, crouching is completely meaningless here, which is kind of a shame. Like, I'm impressed with what I see, I'm just not, not sure where, like, whether it, it was truly ready for steam yet. Which is going to be, okay, so I don't know where I'm going. Good. That's not useful. Hey, Waspinator. I'm... Can I pull up, like, a map? Are there any hotkeys here? No. What? Yeah, cover shooting later, maybe. Yeah, no, I, I agree. This, this game is not ready for Steam. Uh, I want it to be. I, I want to like this just because it looks nice. Like, the presentation is good, but it feels kind of like a, a tech demo where they're like, Alright, so we've got we've got the whole movement and shooting thing, and so you can kill stuff, and you can die, and you can walk from point A to point B. Okay, these models, I think, are messed up a little bit. I think I have to kill all these guys before I can go anywhere else. Um, so, you know, we've got the core gameplay in. Let's put it on Steam Early Access so we can, you know, get that early funding. That is really dangerous to do. You do not want to do that lightly. Holy fuck! Oh, wait. Pardon me, sir! Wait. What? The shit is this? Who did what? Who? What? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. That, that box there is, A, kind of annoying. It's invincible, so it just becomes the permanent barricade for this. But why is there just, like, an infinite number of little crawler drones that have just stacked up here for mysterious reasons? Is this, is this where the threat, is this where the gameplay is supposed to be? Because I think it just fucked itself. And I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I'm I'm kind of enjoying the concept of there just being this like horde, and these two guys with guns are just like, yeah, come over, say hi, we're gonna come blow you up, and it works. It works beautifully, uh, because this this game is not is not ready for Steam yet. I like it. I'm definitely gonna come back to it. I can see this game being really entertaining. I think it would do very well with like online multiplayer. Like if this game became the next Alien Swarm, oh man, that would be so cool. It, 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 it isn't, and it might or might not be, but, um, here's the fun. If only the fun lasted. Okay, so find the AI base close by. So, apparently we just had to clo the, uh, blow those things up. I don't know. Um, but, like, oh wait, what, what? Oh, is this where we're supposed to go? I see, to see it. Oh, they respawned! Son of a bitch! I killed you guys earlier. I was here. What are you doing? Um, but, like... I can see this game being really good with, like, um, 
with drops and equipment, like, it had that, I could switch armors and stuff. Like, that was there. Like, that was kind of there, but it was poorly explained. But there weren't any extra guns. Uh, some of the weird collision bugs are going to be there. But, you know, if, if enemies dropped health packs, or if, like, you could pick up upgrade components, almost, uh, to, like, kit out your characters and do interesting stuff with. That would be really cool. There was a, There's a lot of things that can be done along the way here that would... Oh, crap. No, he just fell through the platform! Yeah, collision in this game is kind of super bug. And I'm not sure how to think about it. It's not terrible, it's actually kind of wacky in a way. And I appreciate the uh, the lack of functionality because it does highlight some interesting issues with, you know, I assume this is either Unity or Unreal. I'm gonna wager it's Unreal just because it looks a little bit nice for Unity. Uh, but still, but like, I have no idea what the controls are. I've just assumed it's WASD because that's that's how all of these things work. But I'm supposed to have like a healing kit thing. The hell if I know how to use it. That guy is very confused, but so is my AI companion. Dude can't figure anything out. I kill him before I even figure out what's going on. That's true of most of these things. But no. So I like I like the idea of this game, but I'm I'm gonna come back to it when it's uh, more functional. Because I I've already I've already made up my mind, like this this has the potential to be a very good game. It's just kind of a matter of like Mechs fall through great platforms because collision is dumb. Needs work. But like overall, it's a promising product, and this go this game is also like um, this game is also like nine bucks. I think ten, but it's on sale for a release. Does space do anything? Nope. Space just shoots. Space is shoot. Control Alt don't do anything. Uh, right click doesn't do anything. Mouse wheel doesn't do anything. Yeah, so most most of the buttons are completely meaningless. In fact, I think all of them are. I'm not even... Oh, shoot. That guy just walked through a bunch of barricades. My my AI companion is nowhere to be found. Oh, wait. He's back over there. Took him long enough. Um, The little mini-map definitely needs work. You know, okay, they look scary. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of guys over there. But, like, the environment modeling? Mmm, top-notch. Like, I love this. I love this. In fact, if this was a first-person shooter... I, uh... I think I'd actually like it better than being a top-down shooter. Just because I would love to see these things in first person. I think they would look absolutely gorgeous. I'm really afraid of walking to the edge of these platforms because I can only imagine I'm going to fall off. Let's see. Nope. Okay. You can't fall off currently. That's nice. Um. But so, like, ultimately, I, I actually find this to be kind of a pleasant and encouraging experience. But I don't want to play it until it's actually done. Because I know I'm only going to get, like, crankier about this. Okay, so only the first 6 out of 20 missions are finished. Uh, they just want to add more loot, weapons, and enemy types. I mean, they don't even have loot or wep uh, weapons or any enemy types, so I'm not entirely sure. But, um... Does, yeah. I don't know. I, I like the idea of this game, but the current execution leaves something to be desired. Are we done? Are we done with the mission? Keep the door locked. Radar... Giant entity approaching you. Can't go in. Okay, so we've got a boss. Well, let's see if I can fuck some up with a- Hello! That thing is cool! It can't really figure out what's going on here, but it's really cool looking. Mission successful. Yay! Yeah, no, this game This game would be awesome as a first-person shooter. Like, the modeling, the detailing, the artwork? Hmm. Unfortunately, the everything else uh, leaves much to be desired. I mean, look at the options menu. I can't change- Gameplay, graphics, and there doesn't seem to be controller support. That's not great. That's not great at all. What do we got? So we've got a bunch of missions, cold base, we get another person, we get a special unit. Weapon, submachine burst, which is also that, which results in some weird funky modeling when you switch around. I don't know why you wouldn't wear anything apart from heavy. Okay, so you get a rocket launcher, which is new. I'm not sure how to use it, because it doesn't tell you anything. Uh, heavy armor, healing station, or rocket launcher. I don't know how to use the healing station. I don't know how to use any of these things. Like, I, f I feel like this game is supported by a wonderful art staff. And the ideas behind it are great. But apparently the art staff works way faster than the design staff. Because this game ain't done. I like it. It looks cool. But, um... I want to come back to this later when it's it's closer to completion. Because currently, I think the more I play it, the more I'm going to be kind of cranky about it. Because I, I want to see this game it, in its completed state. And currently, it's it's too early for Steam. And I'm only going to get unhappy playing it. 
Which is a shame, because I want to like it. It's it's too beautiful to not like. But that's all it is right now. So, uh... And, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, developers, if you're watching this and you're seeing my, like, negative reaction, like, go for it, finish this game, I want to see how it goes. Uh, but I just, I just can't endorse the gameplay yet, which is kind of the problem. Um, but either way, so, I like this game. Is it worth nine bucks? I don't know, if you really like top-down shooters, it's probably worth it. Otherwise, don't know. But, uh, it's definitely gorgeous. So, that, that is a huge plus in their books. And it's cheap, this is not, this is not an expensive game. So, overall, kind of on the wall to recommend it, just because it's so nice looking. Um, but I would say give it a couple of months, let the developers, you know, add everything, make things look nice, and function well, and, you know, have gameplay. Honestly, I would love to have the ability to switch between ten different guns. I think that would vastly improve gameplay. Hell, if you could, like, modify your guns, so, you know, you have, uh, you have a rifle that does single shots, but, uh, does crazy damage. Or a full-on submachine, uh, submachine gun that just, like, blasts everything away with a hail of bullets. Or you could get a shotgun, or a, a laser pulse rifle, or a grenade launcher. Like, there's a, there's a whole host of things that they could do, simply to make the gameplay a little bit more engaging. And I think weapon types are, are chief among them. Once that's in, everything else is just, uh, you know, icing on the cake. So, overall, it's a good game. I want to see more before I'm going to truly endorse it. Uh, so we'll see. I'll probably I'll probably do an update. Actually, no, I will absolutely do an update video um, once we've like once once the game is in a much more playable state. Because I would actually like to recommend this game to people. It looks nice, um, but I wanna I wanna see I wanna see more before I can say like go out and buy this game. So with that, if you like this impressions video in any way, shape, or form, uh, leave me a like. It helps more than you know. And uh, if you want to see more. I will be doing a video on uh, AI, more AI invasion, but later, uh, so that might take a little while. But I do a lot of indie games, so if you want to see more of that kind of thing, uh, hit subscribe, because I'm going to do more. And, well, apart from that, I guess I will see you guys next time, which might be in a little while, might be uh, in a couple weeks, depends on how fast the devs move. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys then, and as always, thanks for watching.